Hello, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everybody out there at the Personal Growth Magazine family. My name's Jen Hale. Daryl, thanks so much for asking me to weigh in on this very important topic of women in leadership. Obviously very near and dear to my heart. I've been covering the NFL for 10 years, the NBA for nine. Uh, so I have certainly learned a thing or two about being a leader and being in a man's world. I also have a nonprofit called Sideline Path, and that too has certainly been a journey in leadership and growth for me. Uh, this is such a complex subject, I feel like I could talk for 30 minutes about it. Um, so it took me a few days, Daryl, to kind of think about what do I want to say in just a few minutes, what, what would be meaningful. And I walked away finally with this, and it's something that I, I usually end a lot of my talks with. Um, it's a piece of advice. And I have had the uh, benefit, the luxury, the privilege of having so many fabulous female mentors who have become aces at being leaders and role models in the world. And what several of them have left me with in one word or another, um, it's an expression I like to call never lose your loveliness. And by that, I don't mean um, having your hair done or being in certain clothes or your makeup on. I mean the loveliness inside of you. As, as females, I know one of the hardest parts for me was learning how to deal with difficult, stressful uh, situations without emotion. And I, I realized I was letting outside circumstances, outside people steal my loveliness. I should never let, I should never give someone the power to affect me or how I act, that I act in a way that I'm not proud of or I am ashamed of, because that's letting them win. And when I look at dealing with problems in the workplace or difficult, contentious situations in that way, it's really helped me. So I go into the situation trying to be very matter of fact and telling myself I am never going to lose my loveliness. I am never going to let what someone else does wrong make me act in a way that I'm ashamed of. I'm not going to give them that power. And so I hope that helps just a little bit. It, it is certainly a piece of advice that I'm so grateful was passed on to me, and I have used it countless times. I am so grateful for it, and it really works because as people, but also as women especially, uh, that loveliness, that softness, that caring, that's what sets us apart, and we don't want to lose that. Um, it's not a weakness. It's just something that you have to use in the right way at the right time. So again, Daryl, thanks so much for asking my opinion, and I hope everyone out there in the Personal Growth Magazine family has a fantastic holiday season.